Evernote 10.85.4 is out and I thought it would be nice if we check it together. There are some features here I want to take a look at. Files now has sections. It also has preview. Uh, you ca it can preview all attachments. We'll take a look at that. Then there's user can copy anchor links to headings. I have already published a video about that. You'll find a link right here. Then there is the ability to include table of contents. I want to check that. Uh, improved readability and a bunch of fixes. However, there is one feature that is not listed here. We can now add events to the calendar without any connection to Google or Outlook calendars. And we'll start with that. Event creation is here. Discover more. From now on, you can use the calendar even with no email accounts connected. But the most interesting part is right here. We'll soon enable the ability to create events in your linked calendar as well. It means that we will not need to go to the Google or Outlook calendars to create events. We'll be able to create them right here. But for now, let's test the events without any connection. But you know what? As you can see, I have a, a Google calendar connected to this account. I'll disconnect it so that we can test this for real. And if you are new here, uh, this account is the account I use to record the videos. That's why it's always a little bit messy. I'd say <laughs> really messy. <laughs> okay, I'll disconnect the calendars and get back to you. As you can see, there is a message here uh, telling me that I can connect a calendar. So there is no calendar connected to this account anymore, but we still can create an event. Let's go to the full calendar view tomorrow. And here it is. And as you can see again, there is no calendars connected. All we have is the Evernote calendar. And yes, we can still add notes like before, but they will not be connected to any of your external calendars. To be honest, I don't see myself using this, but I would love to know if it is something that you want to use. How will you use this? Please let me know in the comments below. Next, let's take a look at files. This is what we had before a list with all the files, but we now have media. And as you can see at the right hand side, there is a preview of the file. Then we have docs. And again, there is a preview. These are PDFs. But what about, let me try something here. Let me go to the notes, filter, and let's look contains video. Okay, video. Okay, there is a note with the video. The name of the video is, there are two videos here, video 01 and 02. Let's go back to files. Let's look for this video. Oh, they are here. It wanna play, but it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's the format. Let's go to the node here. We can click here to go to the node. Maybe it's the format. I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll try to understand what's happening. And we also have to remember that files is not fully implemented, but let's go back to it. Let's take a look at the filter. Uh, recent title, size, kind. And there is also this here, show file size and show position. Okay, position is the note and file size. It's the file size. Interesting. Wow, there are some images here that I have no idea what they are <laughs> and where are they coming from. <laughs> Here we have a download option. We can go to the note and we can open the file. One thing I notice is that open file means that it will open the file using the default app. At least this is what's happening here. Last but not least is the table of contents. Some of you might remember this note from a previous video and we have down here two headings, this one and this one. So let's go 
up again, make some space here. And yes, you can use the slash commands to, to insert this, but let me first show you what it is. It's right here, table of contents. Okay, so slash table, you don't even have to write everything, click here and voila. Let's just make this a little better. Three dashes here, enter will create a, a, a line, a bar. What's the name of this? It's divider, okay? And now if I click here, <laughs> pretty cool, right? <laughs> and the same. You know what I'm missing here? Uh, a way to go back to the top. Uh, maybe there's a sh keyboard shortcut for that. Let's take a look. Note. Let's use top. Switch to top list view. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is it. Maybe shift top. Maybe common up arrow option. No, I don't have page up here. So yeah, I don't even know if it exists, but if you know what keyboard shortcut to go to the top of the list, please let us know in the comments below. Okay. Um, I don't see myself. I, I not that I don't see, I don't use, I don't, I never use this. Uh, I, I use the, the headings, uh, but I don't do this. I don't shrink and expand them. Uh, I don't know. It's, it, I don't need to. Uh, I have this uh, on Obsidian. It, it, it's there since forever, since the beginning. I never used it. I never used it in any other software that has this uh, that had this before Evernote. But this I can see myself using a lot because let's say I'm here on this note, I'm doing something here and then I need to check something on this note that is down there. So I can just do this and go take a look at that. And yeah, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. It helps a lot. And by the way, this is it. These are the features. I'd like to know what you think about them. And also, what do you think about this, this type of video? Uh, I enjoy sharing with you my first impressions, but I really don't know if this is useful. Please let me know in the comments below. But if it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon, becoming a YouTube member, or buying me a coffee. Thanks for watching. See you soon.